Hey everyone, it is Rip here and first of all, I hope that everyone who is watching this right now is having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for being here. I decided to record this little intro in the beginning because me and the entire team, we want to say a big, big thank you to all you Mortal Kombat fans out there who decide to watch our content lately. We see so many new faces in the comment section. So thank you very much for allowing us to do these events with and for the community. It is an absolute honor. But today we are bringing you a special top 8. We decided to invite 8 Mortal Kombat 11 champions and we want to find out who is going to be at the top of MK1. And for that event I'm going to bring two different commentators and one of them is going to be a very very big surprise because Wes decided to join me for the semi and grand finals of this event. So Wes if you're watching this Thank you so much for your time. It was an absolute blast. And I hope you guys out there enjoy it just as much as I did. So, just like that, enjoy the video. Have a wonderful time. And if you like competitive Mortal Kombat, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen out there, everyone, welcome to the arena. And today it is not your regular arena because we are finally gonna bring a very very special event not only here to the twitch community but to the youtube site as well and of course i'm not alone for that i have my boy bulk here next to me just like every other monday but today the very first time for mk1 bulk super happy to have you how do we feel I'm feeling, I'm feeling awesome. I'm, I'm, I like the intro that we gave, that you gave. The this, the the sweatiest bracket to yes. ever have bracketed. I love that. It's going to be sweatier than a pharaoh's codpiece in this thing. Let me tell you. And with the new game as well. Let's see all the grimy, weak minus one tech because the game hasn't actually been released till tomorrow. That is so true. this is yes. this is all early access, uh, and that's real early access, by the way. None of your fake. Um, six weeks ago, early access, make some content out of it. We'll say no more. Uh <laughs> Let me show you who is going to be here today because I want to announce every single player on their own. And the very first one, Young Rotha, sponsored, officially sponsored by the arena. Yes, there's going to be a special announcement coming out tomorrow because there are some big changes coming up in the next days. You guys are ready for it. Stay tuned. Check out the socials. And then we're gonna update every single one out there. But Rotha is here tonight. One of the best reigns currently in the game. Everyone back then in MK11 was asking, who is Rotha gonna main? And he found his main bulk and he is playing Rain. Did you expect that? I did not see that one coming. In the same way as the the it, it's like when you it's like when you're in the delivery room and uh, um the baby comes out ugly. No one sees <laughs> it coming. <laughs> Yes. Um, but you have to live with it. And uh, yeah, Rotha on Rain. I did not expect that at all. I, I had no idea, but I, I like where his head's at. Yeah, and I personally thought that Rotha is going to play Johnny in MK1, but he is like, no, Rain is my character in this game. I cannot wait to see what he's going to do tonight because we have a debut, not really a debut fight, but Max K, aka MK. The last time he played was... I think one and a half years ago, back then Frost main in MK11, one of the best German Frosts out there, by the way. Mm -hmm. And the zero subs, they reached out to me and they like, Rip, if you want to host a sweat top eight, please bring our boy Max K. Smoke main bulk. That means mix machine versus mix machine because Rain has some dirty mix as well. Today, mm -hmm. it's going to be the showdown here. MK versus Ooh. Rotha, round number one. This is single elimination, no lower bracket available. If you want to conquer this bracket, you have to win every single set. You're not allowed to lose one spike, and this is going to be the mission for these players tonight. Well, the mission is survival. Survival at all costs. I like the fact that uh, MK changed up to Max K. Uh, really, really um, uh, getting in behind there their moniker right there not just your regular k not a minimum k not an average k but max k as that said in the chat uh they're the best player in yep. the zero subs clan so let's yep. let's see if they're gonna carry the flag the uh, fly the gang colors or is it going to be a disappointment let's find out i can't wait yes there are a lot of great names but now all 
eyes on Heurism and I'm so proud that I was able to get Heurism into this bracket today. Because let me tell you this bug, there were all kind of different tournaments. We hosted a tournament day one and Slayer for example hosted a tournament day one as well. And in that Slayer tournament, Heurism literally had to play one of the NRS developers, <laughs> Dragon, played in it as well. And Heurism, all... I mean, there were all NA players playing. I think Averk was playing. Literally every single one of them. Even Dragon competed. And guess who wow. won it, Bug? The entire thing. Heurism. First place. And today we have Heurism here in the arena once again for the very first time in MK1. And a lot of people out there in the community say that Heurism might be the best Melina in the entire world right now, Bug. And I'm well, so excited. Well, he's had enough. He's had enough practice. He's had, he's had to, he struggled. He struggled for four years or yep. whatever. Well, she was only released a couple of years ago. But he struggled all that time trying to uh, get some kind of uh, juice out of the character. And, and maybe now uh, is the time to get paid. Paid right. in spades. But let me tell you this. The path is not going to be easy. Round number one, Schoolman. Reptile main. And I saw Schoolman, he is a lab monster bug. He spent the entire three days in the lab. Didn't eat, didn't leave his apartment, nothing. <laughs> he is on the grind and he wants to conquer this. But that is only the upper half of the bracket. Because of course the spiciest jalapeno is here as well. <laughs> who got so many great feedback on YouTube for a scorpion. And so many roast comments on YouTube at the same time. Because he is currently <laughs> playing the chip out score bug. That means death spin into cameo assist to keep everything safe, to keep everything plus, and he is just shipping his opponent to death. And no one has literally found an answer so far. No one. Wow. Wow. I mean, uh, so is MK Javier? Uh, does he run double scorpion? I mean, no. no, he does not. No, he's. Uh, I, 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 think... I, I want. I want him to run double scorpion. That would be. <laughs> that would be perfect. It would be. It would be fire, as yeah. the kids would say, like mm -hmm. literal fire. Um, but fight. to hear that he's uh, doing lockdown into into spinny spin spin chip chip, um, does he have the patatas to to take on the 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 bananas as yeah. I see in the um, main. Anas racket. bananas? Another player I heard a lot about. I haven't seen him compete yet here in this bracket Ooh. for the first time as well. I heard oh, he's a sweat. I don't know him yet. I know him just from oh. rumors, but never then seen him play so a... far. Y'all in for a bit of a treat because Anas Anas Bananas, uh, um, Kotal, um, Kotal guy from X and Eleven, and has made he he his gameplay uh, has made uh, some high profile players pick up Kotal early on in Ooh. MK 11s life. Oh no! Yeah. You, now you're getting me hyped up, Bike. I can't wait to see him. And then last but not least. The Battle of Champions. As always in the arena, we have another arena competitor, which is Makaran versus mm. Kanimani Balk. And Kanimani has so many eyes on him that I mo even feel bad for him a little bit because the expectations he has to meet in MK1, they are just so high. Is it even possible to transfer from MK11 to MK1 and immediately stay at the top, Balk? I'm not well, sure. I mean, that's there's the big question. Expectation station is a big deal. I mean, we've all been there and then, you know, things don't go according to plan. It ends very, very rapidly. And then you have to just say, it's not always like this. It doesn't all, I don't know what's happened today. It's just, it's never normally like this, but um, yeah, them's the breaks. And then someone else looks at you very, very disappointedly. And then you, 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 yeah, you finish. Done. We get some noise in the chat the because I am so hyped and the draw. chat is not sure. 50-50 prediction here at the bottom Ooh. of the screen. Wow. Okay, well, some people are going to be happy. Letting the intros rocks. Game on! Beginning of the top eight here. Let's see what's going on. I'm going to try and set some, some traps out there. Oh, get, calling out the immediate cancel from Smoke is... Is Rotha? Do they know a little bit of tech that other people have missed? Yes, and we Clearly see the not matchup knowledge. That. We see the matchup knowledge from Rotha already in round number one because that cancel is actually quite gimmicky, and not a lot of player change, uh, challenges yet. I tell you what wasn't gimmicky. That trip guard with the puddle just he's, he landed in the wet spot. Uh, did smoke, but immediate breakaway, and look what it's gotten, uh, Max K, all of the momentum, but I say too soon, as Rotha is fighting their way out of the corner. Alright, okay, yes, he wasn't hands ready for on this 
Oh, I, lo I love that he's gone for purple rain. Bit of a shout out to Prince right there. The double low. Oh, Max goes low, for the throw and Rotha doesn't even know what's happening. More pressure incoming. We poke out of it. Good blocks from Max K. Armor. Wow, what a, what a bust out. And then into the fatal blow. <laughs> it's going to... It's clearly going to uh, annihilate Max K's smoke right here. You could say they're getting smoked. <laughs> uh, uh, I see what you did there, Mike. Are you sure? Could, could I make it more ham-fisted? <laughs> and look at the, all the first-time message in the chat. Greybush saying, first time here live. The YouTube content has been fire. Thank you so much for saying that, everyone. Welcome to the arena. And this bracket is going to make history, I think. Let's get it. Fantastic. What was the what was the name of the first time chatter? Uh, Greybush. Greybush. Grey Greybush. Sounds like Rip. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Shut up, Mike. <laughs> Jumpy Carnivore, thank you so much for the reason. <laughs> then the game may be different, but I tell you what, the commentator game is still the same. <laughs> right, imagine to I don't know what happened to the missile there. Did did it seem to explode but have no effect on rain again some tech being shown as we're we're, we're portaling out portaling out like a ps1 game and there's the cameo assist we are looking for plus frames portal active for rotha as well what is he going to do with it there pressure caught max k off guard can he kill no break available more cancel pressure from rotha here portal good call out and that's gonna take it feel my bubble there we go. The dot-com <laughs> bubble has burst for smoke, unfortunately. Your schmixing days are over in this game one. And we see him again. Back in the days, the best Rambo in MK11, and he is looking just as strong in MK1. What a callout. Even when for the grab here, Rotha wanted that cinematic finish at the end. Now, for anyone watching this back on YouTube or anywhere in live right now in the Twitch chat, if you're looking for uh, frame data, uh, matchup knowledge, and experience from your commentary team right now, uh, then um, uh, day three of a brand new game is not the time to ask two ancient beings like myself and Rip. All right, let's go to the garden. But a change in, in the franchise. We're getting some actual color and light on screen. And isn't that a beautiful change, Bo? You're in MK1. Look at the vibrance. Look at the stages. I love it. The static graphics just look absolutely sensational. Each each moment of getting your head caved in or uh, having your shins cracked open and having your ribs checked uh, violently. Every time this happens, it's it, and you, if you took a uh, a still photo it's like a an actual oil painting i love what looking at the visuals in the game me, but right now you know what i like to look at as well that smoke pressure from max k dang but uh, able to get get them away send them full screen try and sp uh, play this zoning game you did not watch your um, your ninja size fives i've not i haven't done the story yet i don't know what clan smokes in is he in the Lin Kuei or the Shirai Ryu? What is he in? Definitely not in the Rips clan because only Marco <laughs> and Rotha in there so far. <laughs> I love what you did there, fella. <laughs> but Bug Rotha slowly running away with it and we see the level up of that rain. Rotha wants to grab that 5k prize pool in season one. But he's definitely looking capable of doing so. Yeah, and don't, this is still early days for everybody. It's, it, oh, there's yes. a, oh my goodness, speaking of early days, in there early with the combo and the breakaway immediately. Doesn't need the resources, says Rotha, but we're going in with the assisted combo. Tool assisted with a uh, family man Hanzo, providing some flamey continuation. I love how that overhead is safe. It is so <laughs> hard to open these pro players up. The defense, Chris, what a trade, Rotha. Right, using the armored smoke cancel. Interrupt, match up on it once again. Good spacing, just sweeping in. I tell you what, if you're gonna lab any matchup, it's it's one smoke is one of those ones you do want to. Of course, Hanzo isn't even in the game. Excuse me, let me fix my my uh, my law right there. Thank you for the heads up in the chat. Thank you, Lotus Panda. It's it's um Kwai Liang, isn't it? Boom! And with that, not worrying about uh. Uh, who's family or who he's fighting 
Roper's Reign takes another win over Zero Subs. Max K. And is it, it going to be? It is looking rough for the boy. I know that his entire team is here in the chat right now, cheering for him, believing in him. But he needs the reversal 3-0 bulk. They're going to need to lend him some Quan. They need to throw their hands up, get a Genki Dama going for, for their guy right here. Not sure if if smoke suits Super Saiyajin hair, but he's got the he's got the right colors there. The big the cameo is, is Hanzo. I thought so. The cameo is classic Hanzo. So the cameo is Family Man Hanzo. So I was right the first time. There we go. All right, portals are out. What are you going to do with them, Rosa? That, that portal is such a great tool in Reign's arsenal, giving him even more mobility. Indeed, and he, he, sometimes he can appear right out of your arsenal. Yes, just like that, because that's a way so he can keep his turn going, because he just sets up the portal as a combo ender most of the time. <laughs> that totally reminds me of something else. I'll, I'll tell you later in between matches so it doesn't end up on YouTube. Anyway, the... <laughs> <laughs> right, speaking of speaking of continuations later, we're continuing this combo. Oh my goodness, where are you going? Don't come in on me like that. We've locked this place down harder than 2020. Feel my cane of retribution, says Rain. Oh, he's, where's he gone? He's disappeared. Uh, oh, invisible, there, there. He's but have blocked everything. I've, in, in so far in the three days, every single invisible mix-up I've had to take, I've I've uh, failed. <laughs> right, it's using the Scorpion cameo to get out of dodge, get some space, but look what it's ended up with. Rother has put themselves back toward the corner. Got to feel this pressure right here. Oh, oh get out of the way! him out of it. Oh, Rother is so nasty with it. Young kid reactions here. Absolutely ridiculous. Trying to catch the... Again, trying to catch the forward movement with the low puddle, but no dice as now Max K is looking to put a dub on the board for zero subs. Can they make the pressure count? It's looking almost insurmountable until it wasn't, as Rotha deftly gets his way out of there. Right, putting the low trap close. I like the idea. Trying to make it rain like a British summer. That string looks so interruptible, and yet it clearly isn't. Max K, one chance, wake up armor, and that is something we see so much in MK1. And was that an immediate fatal from it Rotha is. in return? He is saying, this is my tournament. In mm. round number one, and now it is time for the blockbuster set. Hurism. <laughs> One of the best players in the world right now, winning one of the first tournaments, even kicking Dragon, an NRS developer himself, out of the tourney, which is insane <laughs> to me. That 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 is, that is insane. Um, as in one of the guys uh, responsible for playtesting the game during development, um, and came up presumably with feedback to to guide the direction of the game. Um, Lost to someone who apparently has only been playing this game for three days. And Bulk, I cannot wait it. Hurizon, for the very first time in the Great arena time. today, after our MK11 tournaments, Melina. and now it is time. I see that Melina and I am hyped. Versus Schoolman, who is another favorite in this tournament. Today, this is probably the most stacked MK1 tourney we ever hosted, and I hope you guys out there enjoy it on Twitch and on YouTube. Thank you. More, more stacked than a massive bout of constipation with a completely egg diet. Now, what, something I did notice, we looked, we saw the, the, the regular assist of Serena. There she is, everyone's favorite cameo. But if you look at, if you look at Schoolman, rocking the Darius, looking for some really hard to block setups, and Reptile might be the Schmix machine to suit him right there. But not able to get a mix on if you get hit as heroism. Oh my goodness, 39. Oh, that was a piece of our schoolman with the Darius assist. Keeping that exactly. pressure. That is so dirty with Reptile because that low starter mixed with that cameo overhead. So hard to block, Bug. You have to be ready. Something else that's hard to block is the neutral slide right out there, getting them reset in the situation. But all that's happened is Schoolman got reset into a double crawl combo. 
with the Serena. Those in the chat who have no idea what Kroll was, it's a movie from the 80s, and I'm going to always mention it every time Serena does the double Kroll. Did you watch Kroll, um, no, young girl? Oh, you missed out. <laughs> it, was, it was an 80s fantasy movie, and it had a spinning boomerang blade uh, as the weapon of the main character, and it was awesome. Was it as awesome as that Melina though, but because you're some showing us why he's considered the best Melina in the world right now. Oh, what a what a jump in the But the neutral double crawl! You love to see it! Only people as ancient as me are gonna get that reference. The tank yeah, get off me, not even able to get that throw, but Schoolman has to keep the pressure going. I'm oh, finishing the whole string out here, Wait, Rip. That is big damage. Reptile's damage is insane. There's the assist. You can see the school. Oh my goodness, it's not going to help him in the end as Schoolman's uh, yeah. aggressive. Doing. He's going in, is what he's doing. He's, go he's going in hard, Rip. Going in hard. Um, you can see that Schoolman is very happy to throw some high risk strats out there for completing entire strings, giving them the full Geppetto. Very unsafe stuff, but. It wasn't enough to gain traction momentum in that match. Heroism, showing why he's number one Molina, arguably in the world. <laughs> They're trying to say he's that heroism, relax. Heroism <laughs> just did its stuff there at the finishing screen. One oh lead. Schoolman feeling the pressure in the arena today. This bracket is stacked. See, in the chat, people that know, Del Mem said, Kroll, talk about special effects ahead of their time. Absolutely. Speaking of which, that's a cameo ahead of its time as the assist call, making it look a little, like, little bit like Marvel here. But that is a bad call. Neutral balls are going to get blocked and punished suitably. 25.709%. But going for just throwing it all out there on the unsafe overhead teleport dropaway is Schoolman. And look what it's going to cost him. 38.802%. We're going right into the one of the best throw animations in the game, but Tourism doesn't want to block today. This is pressure only. We only know one direction, but... Have you seen anyone blocking Combat League so far? <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just saying. <laughs> okay. We steal the meter and get the round. What a, a intelligent use of resources there from Heroism. And then and Amplify Sai, catching so many people off guard. Full combo is the reward for it. Did you see he did neutral uh, Serena assist during the throw animation to get even more meter off of Schoolman? It's no break like. available if we hit you. And there's the unsafe Strang. Ma, he's doing Strangs. What do I do? Well, you block him and kill him for it. And that's an unsafe dash. We, Schoolman we really getting found out. Yes. Eurism is blocking everything right. Schoolman trying to mix a little bit here and there, but Eurism just too consistent. Literally speed running this match right now. This looks like Eurism is in practice. Heroism blocking everything correctly. Schoolman blocking everything with his face. 2 0 lead, and now Schoolman literally needs answers, and he needs them quick. A big, big shout out to my boy Merkin in the chat. Merkin, I haven't seen you for ages. I hope everything is all right. Slept here as well. I love to see all the MK11 goats back. And everyone out there, of course, welcome to one of the most stacked tournaments we ever hosted in MK1 so far. This is the Battle of Titans. Right now, Hurzen versus Schoolman, second fight of round number one. And after this, sure we have this? no plans of stopping by. If I say fight me, uh, that's fight so me. that's so refreshing to hear. But um, you say Titans, but neither you or I are actually in this bracket. Just saying. <laughs> anyway, here we go to the woods. Off for a nice little stroll, choosing not to neutral crouch the the double crawl return, and just walking straight into the air side. Going Sonic the Hedgehog on you is Heroism's Melina, and we get the easy con con continuation into the Sonic. The double Sonic collecting those rings is heroism right now. And feeling the tings is Schoolman, as every defensive option they choose is the wrong one. Round two, fight. It is just so impressive to see how Heroism is approaching this matchup here. Schoolman is no slouch by any means, but right now Heroism makes it look so easy, but 
Well, yeah, but the, don't forget, this is clearly, this is all uh, weak minus one uh, tech. Oh, we get the Darius. What's it gonna be? Just empty Darius! Didn't even bother doing anything with the reptile right there. You gotta respect it. Uh, no punish, schoolman missed it. But got it the didn't matter regardless. in the end. Yeah, it didn't matter in the end. Able to keep it clean, keep it PG. Uh, just like our commentary rip as it goes. Again, not neutral crouching the returning the returning projectiles from Serena. The back assist, the double crawl. Heroism in trying to backdash into MK11 by the looks of things, and they've ended up in the corner. We've gone from edge to edge, from coast to coast, as the kids say. Oh, didn't watch your toes! Straight back at you, didn't watch your toes, Heroism. Eating the low reptile slide. Serena, all of those projectiles are high, by the way. Schoolman yeah, mistiming the up lock. Oh, but no punish on the on the rando run from from heroism here. Oh, that's dirty. That was dirtier than Stevie Wonder's bathroom. Completed string into special. Heroism was looking for the punish, but then ate the special move. Could this be the? We see oh, a wow. full cash out, but yes, in MK1 you can break fatal blows. That was an intelligent break. I, I like that break. Both players are a little bit sh deficient in resources. We're going for the Darius again. Again, empty Darius, this time called out by Heroism. We get a, a punish, a counter hit, and in the end we get the dub. Heroism planting their flag early. Melina wins. Very, very strong performance from Urizim, and I gotta say that I'm very, very impressed how Urizim, how easily Urizim made it through this round number one fight. GG's. GG's. We'll see them again. Well, that means they get to, that, their, that second round match is going to look spicy. It's looking spicier than the, the menu on the Indian takeaway that you look at in your uh, 2 a.m., uh, not sober form. <laughs> How do you even come up with stuff like that, Bug? It's just just talking is, about real life. It's just, it's just talking about your life. Regular Bug things. Let's bring yeah, in the just... bracket because there <laughs> are four more warriors in this bracket. And now it is time for MK Javier for all the Scorpion fans out there. And the main question is going to be Does. Anas have an answer to that death spin. I am so curious. Shlabatelli, thank you so much for the prime sub in the chat. I hope you guys enjoyed. A big shout out to 690 people in the chat with us. Bug, I'm getting a little bit nervous here. Yeah. Matter. All right. Here we go. Night times at the Sundo, I believe. Another beautiful stage in MK1, in my opinion. Fireworks in the back. And Javier Fly. Scorpion in the front. Let's go. Oh, what yeah, a conversion here front, after that cameo assist. Yeah, the fireworks are in the front as well there, brother. Because as MK Javier is going in, and there is the chippity chip chip of the spinny spin spin spin. Speaking of spins, everything's spinning. The robot is spinning in the background. The, the kunai is spinning in the foreground. Have, and poor Anas Bananas, is, his head is spinning, I'm sure. But look, we get a an answer back. There's a combo that I have to say I've never seen before in my life. This Having match, not played the story mode. It is so fast-paced. It is so hard to commentate this because both of these guys are pressing buttons. They didn't They didn't buy the games, not press buttons, Rip. Okay, the skull is out. It's coming in from the other side. How did he make it whiff? I had no idea that that projectile, the, the, at the EX... Uh, blood projectile from Havoc comes in from the other side of the screen and homes in on your character. I had no idea it goes away on the hit. That is interesting tech that we are seeing all together for the first time, ladies and gentlemen. Fight. All right, eat my nets. But just you made the mistake of thinking you could move, getting caught by the random full screen kunai toss, getting the spear. Get over here. Right, get slapped, my friend. Out of the corner, interesting decision-making from Anas. But here's another one. 
like the plus frames from Havoc are one of the main reasons to be able to use him as well. He's got up close brawler style stagger pressure. I would one just play him for that freaking disgusting armored move by where you just, you know, rip that, that one. one right there. The plus that frames. He's plus eight on his Tinder swipe, by the way. On block. Did you know that? I I didn't know that. So he's got a he's got a high spinning back fist, a, a Tinder swipe. Depending on the stance, left or right, and it, and we might see it in the matchup if MK Javier survives for for Anas to need to throw out another button. All right, safe, chippity chip chip. Here, Javier living on a pixel. A, oh, yes, he got caught, and he's gonna die for it. He's absolutely gonna die for it as Styrax brings out the toolkit, give him the Tim Allen, give him the tool time, and now. Softened up. New Scorpion, Kwai Liang, hits him with that all new fatal blow to Mahe. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to finish round number one. Comedy ending is both ending and comedic. Let's go. An obscure in the shed saying Rips Arena delivering the sweaty sets. And Doom is saying, are you doing a PC League? Yes, of course we are. I mean, that's what the arena stands for, Chad. We always host sets and tournaments for PC and PS5. Next to yeah, each other. And, uh, thanks to the state of the crossplay, um, uh, it's something that we're going to have to continue to do. We can't just combine it. We will subject them to your justice, Havoc. I'm sure we're going to get crossplay fully in the game uh, and not. Um, like the rolling beta that was in MK11. Right, so didn't block out the full back two from Scorpion, the, the triple sweep. That's interesting from Anas Bananas, as it goes. And MK Javier's uh, cameo usage, keeping the spinny spin spin safe to try and get the chippity chip chip, is very resource heavy. And again, so now Javier has no. Cyrax cameo loaded. Somebody does have Cyrax cameo loaded is Anas Bananas blocking the overhead. And now we can short. No, no chance to get in on punish. I think dash up button may well have been in on the cards at that range. But going for the reversal special move, it wasn't quick enough. And once Someone again, we is see how crazy the combos are in MK1 bike. They can get crazy. Uh, just, just don't think of the Serena ones. Because <laughs> they, they, that's just button, button, Serena, button, button, Serena, button, button. And it's always the same buttons. <laughs> yes, I'm putting you on blast, MK community. I'm putting you on blast for your lack of creativity. Me sitting here being sad because I use Serena as well, chat. <laughs> <laughs> you like flawless block on the last hit, Javier. Are I'm you playing me. Xiao Serena? Of course. Okay, I did Shao Serena until I got unlocked Mataro, then I went Mataro. Yeah, I'm I'm looking to run that combination as well. Another flawless block, Javier. Displaying matchup knowledge in the first week of early access. Chip, Cyrix, oh. a deadly combination. Oh, and in the end, it's not gonna be the Havirax combo, it's actually the Scorpirax combo there as it's gonna take it. Scorpion Cyrax dominant. Now, do we think, do we think that uh, um, Anas Bananas has another character, or are they going to stick it with stick it out with Havoc? Can they even change characters in King of the Hill? They can because they go to character select, don't they? Yeah, they can, but I don't even think this is a character problem, Bulk. I think Scorpion. just like Sorry. in so many other Sorry. matches where we saw Javier. This is a match-up knowledge problem Your because no one has found an answer yet to that spin Cyrus combination. It's also also that the full screen spear is so much more viable in this game because have you been able to jump over it yet? Oh it is it feels so quick as well. It's super fast, it covers the entire screen, gets a full combo. But not worrying about the lack of havoc matchup knowledge. You know what havoc reminds me of? and the locked cameos. You know when you buy a car and it's not quite the top of the range car, maybe it's actually like bottom of the range, and instead of giving you 
um, the options that are available on the really expensive version, they've put little grey plastic blanks over where all the interesting <laughs> buttons would be, right? So where if if you look at all you look at your dashboard, you see a sea of grey blank plastic rectangles. And you think I could have air conditioning there, I could have cruise control, I could have seat belts, you know, or whatever it may be. Um, th but instead, I've got this cheap version. I have MK1 for the poor. Is uh, what it made me feel like when I saw all those grey blanks right there. But not worrying about not having any knowledge of Havoc is. MK Javier, as they are running a full train on the um Ooh, Ooh. lock pressure. I say that and, and Anas Bananas makes me eat my own words, just like something that Havoc would do. Alright, the chippity chip chip, spinity spin spin. Slide and delayed hitting. button from Javier. It's a good mid that, the um, Scorpion knee into high uh, launcher. That one right there. Oh, we're not able to get the self pickup though. That is unfortunate. Having to spend all the bar on the counter attack on the combo breaker. Right, go away, Cyrax. I'm not impressed, says Anas, with that, that down one poke check. Right, we're going to call out our robo buddy just to get some safety. Right, he's in there! No! No full combo, though! Got the hit, but no commit. Is dating app enthusiasm going to be the undoing of Anas Bananas here? Oh, and the, the almost guaranteed, you would say, amplified um, uh, EX unblockable flames from the floor. Oh, get gribbed. We're command grabbing out here. Entires. That's what Javier is gonna do tonight. Is that is that Scorpion's down too? I think or that is, is it, it. No, I think that is up to, if I remember correctly. Chat, correct me if I'm wrong, please. He has an up to command. That's that, that is just a standing button, bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, but it's a commands normal with the up. Uh, you, you don't see many of those in on our NRS games, but it's a really, really good button. It's back to the chat is saying it's back to. Oh, back two is the low sweepy sweep. It's no, the no, triple no. sweep. The enter air. Oh, is it really? Okay, all right. Okay, but it's one of the two. Uh, all of the twos. Drive. Yeah, it's not going to help you if you drop your combos. Oh, we've got amplified something. It's amplified it's mega armor from Havoc as Anas puts the puts the flame and jalapeno in their place for a game, bringing it to one. And I can't believe that I'm seeing Javier lose a round in tournament. It's been quite a while since I saw that the last time. Anas, he is here to make it to the next round. Hard opponent though. Let's see if we can take this to a game five. Would be the first game five of the day. And I cannot wait for it. But of course, all you MK1 fans out there, we are just getting ready. Next Monday, it's getting serious. 5,000 bucks on the line bike for these players. What a, what a, uh, what an enticing invitation. If only there were some members of a, of a gaming clan that I might know very well that uh, would love to hear that kind of news. But anyway... <laughs> I mean, the deal is like we go 60-40. We go no, I'm joking. All right. <laughs> Right there, I thought that was back to, but it, apparently it isn't. The, the low triple swipe that seems to uh, be able to cover 90% of the screen. That's something that I've noticed in this game, is Scorpion uh, really locks you down at any point on the screen. You think you're full screen and safe? Not unless you're neutral crouching. But even then, he's got the, the Hellfire Flames to keep you honest. So he really locks down your movement options. Does, does Kui Liang. Bring back Hanzo is what I'd say, but the range on that on that uh, uh, down the foot there. Exactly, abusing that button and tires back to Javier, showing us how to use it. Oof! Oh, and you're just not choosing to not block, getting hit by the honest mids right there is Anas Bananas. And Kit Benson, thank you so much for the gifted sub in the chat. Thank you so much for the support, everyone. Right, so those in those those 
Oh, this. Okay, those in the chat. The the. I know. I haven't. Uh, oh my goodness! Again, there. Full screen lockdown. You made the mistake of thinking you had a turn and were able to do something with it because you were at the other end of the gaming screen. No. K kunai, come here, Kunai. Says no. Okay. Interesting. Not able to get enough advantage to do anything with that, uh, the Cyrax Copter. Slap him, break that neck, side switch on us! Alright. So for those who are a little bit confused with the lore, the story had- this is uh, Liu, Liu Kang's new, new vision. Um, this version of Scorpion is not Hanzo Hasashi. What a block in, on reaction there. Um, it is Kwai Liang, but I have been corrected in the chat. This skin is Hanzo Hasashi's skin. So excuse me, chat. Um, I guess we'll go halves on that one. Maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, speaking of wrong, choosing to not block that advance is Javier. Oh my goodness, just getting clipped by everything. Anas... Folding under the pressure, not able to clutch it out this time out. As MK Javier proves they are still the spiciest of jalapenos out there. GG's. Definitely GG's. Anas got one round, but in the end, it just wasn't enough. At least for today, Javier, in the next round of this bracket. And right now, this is a pretty fast-paced tournament bike. We had two sweeps in the beginning, right? Mm -hmm. And now mm -hmm. a 3-1 here. Javier making this nice and quick. That means there's only one last remaining set in round number one. And that is, of course, the one and only Makuran versus Kanimani. The battle of arena champions. The battle of MK11 Godsberg. This is... I, oh, we didn't get to hear um, uh, Megan Fox's amazing voice acting. <laughs> <laughs> Going with everyone's favorite cameo, we've got double Serena on screen. Uh, this is a uh, um, uh, mortal uh, Serena Combat One. Is, the, <laughs> is what I money. feel like in Combat League right now. Wait, is right, that is that Connie Money playing neutral bulk? Is that what I'm seeing? We didn't see it that often in MK11 when Jackie was on the stage. <laughs> well, Connie, I'm almost, just kidding. Um, Almost like neutral was not needed, but na speaking of neutral block. being needed, you, d you do need to navigate around with Johnny Cage, but once you do get in, he gets paid like an actual Hollywood A-lister rather than the D-lister that he is. Ninja Mime, a massive flop at the box office. IIRC. Right, that was looking clean from Kanamani. No outs doubts have been completely blown away. All right, of course we opened with the with the back Serena, the double crawl. We're going to do it again because it was so good the first time. We're going to do it again. Watching the dome, watching the parting is Kanamani on reaction. It's not going to help you from avoiding the throws, though. Yeah, and that is a thing Makron loves to abuse with Nitara. Th those glide cancels, Spike. What a pickup from Kani in return. Good check in neutral, and we keep that pressure going. Johnny staggers for days. Indeed, staggers plus frames, close zero, range zero pressure is what you expect. Whiff punish! An actual whiff punish in MK1, ladies and gentlemen. You saw it here first. Right, get gribbed, get shanked. Go for a, go for a quick flight and putting out the, the neutral Serena, the, the Dyson. The the meter the meter sucker. <laughs> that right is there. right. Another good up block from Kani. So consistent with it, and just like that, Makuran losing the first round. That Johnny is looking incredible. Indeed, indeed. Now, word on the street is uh, Nitara is actually very very good. It's why she quite deservedly has uh, very little health. I would like to see the, the, the cameo combination that gives her the least health in the game. Like, I want to see her at 750. 
or some I, such. I think at this point, um, it is it is so hard to say which character is good, which character isn't. A lot of people ask for a tier list as well. I think it is close to impossible to, to The game say hasn't it. even come out, kids. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I mean. Down. Thunder, thank you so much for the resub. Everyone out there, welcome to the arena. Get Shout out to close down. to 800 people no, in the crowd with us. We are watching Carney versus Marco. 800 well-informed, well-educated, quite discerning and valued me viewers right there. They all know what time it is. What time it is, is real Mortal Kombat time. Oh, what a punish there. I, th I feel that was a punish. We have switched off of Megan, which pains me slightly because I'm not going to hear those incredible art lines that she says as it goes. They always uh, entertain me whenever we get to hear them. Ouch! Just choosing to block that on the dome piece is Johnny Cage. And now, and we've got the Darius as well. And Marco now Ram making this the switch a... to Melina, and that's when you know it's getting serious, bug. That's the strongest oh, character in Marco's arsenal. Mako said, "It's on! It's on!" As we've got the full schmix uppery and using the Darius. Right, keeping it. Keeping it simple, doesn't have the full cameo bar to be able to unleash the Darius as it goes. And there it's gone. It's gone. Darius gone out. So if you if you look at underneath Mako's health bar, the, the Darius is... Connie? Uh, Connie? Play. It's not going to kill, is it? Is it going to do 48, 48%? Oh, but this is going to be close. I, I, I don't think it's going to kill. I think it's going to be like 43. How do you know these numbers? It is more! 46, what? actually! What in the... Oh, just let go of block too early! This is something that I that um, I cer certainly have found out myself. You have got... Um, you duck the you block the first two, you can neutral crouch to sec the return of the crawl. But the thing in, in NRS games is, every time you let go, there's that, that tiny moment when you kind of stand up first. And that's what gets you clipped. Speaking of getting clipped, again, it's just standing up into the second crawl. Get out of the sky! It's a no-fly zone here, says, says Kanamani. Oh, got caught trying to take their turn. Walk straight into the size. Feeling those highs. Is Canny. Can Canny close it out if, if Macron keeps him? accidentally st land standing up into highs you would have to say it's gonna be bad days for him but i think this is going to kill i think yes with this uh macron has got the no oh, not yet but not calculation. yet weak one damage calculations but the retreating ex size is going to take it don't want to go cheap on that date macaron spending all the cash all the resources on securing the round and i agree oh daku escani that's an mk1 as well beautiful opening big damage as a reward side switch oh we just we just walk phasing through get off of me uh, using the Serena lockdown to try and uh, get a bit of taunt action going on, and I like what we're seeing. Getting closer to that star power, where we're gonna we're gonna see some insanity. But speaking of insanity, Sonic is back again, spending more cash for twenty-eight point two zero nine percent. Go away, Darius. Don't wanna know. Says Canny. Right, look at the resource advantage from. From Canny. Oh, it's. Uh, uh, apologies. I thought that was a, a taunt action from Johnny. It's actually his summon. Uh, ca cameo summon animation. He just goes and checks his phone. I didn't play the beta or the stress test. Give me a break. <laughs> oh, there was a ballsy poke from Carney. Marco has to hold that pressure. All those staggers. And there is the opening. Carney needed not that yet. Oh no! Went to load up star power and look what it's cost him! It's cost him everything! Ah! Almost! It ha <laughs> no! No, I Mark, what? I'm done. I'm he had 1.75 health. That's redonkulous. Oh, that, is that is a one heartbreak. One, te one tenth of 1% one health there. A literal pixel. Hanging on in there and doing the down one check. 
What a move. What a what a decision to make at the very end. That miss time down four from Marco. Well, you know, if if, if, if Young kids in the chat, there is a saying, never trust a man in red trousers, and look at Johnny right there. Do you have that in Germany? Do you do you have a never trust a man in red trousers? Yeah, we, we have something like that as well, yeah. It, was, is it, it can't be leather trousers in Germany, because that's like uh, 60%. <laughs> I'm wearing leather trousers right now, what are you talking about? <laughs> Well, let's go! Oh, the look! Both players went for the the double the Serena double crawl route at match start. Single brain cell gameplay here from the Serena community. <laughs> oh, put with the stagger pressure, putting hands on. Um, I want to say uh, possible heir to the throne. I don't know. I haven't played the story. All right, we're gonna amp the amp the rising star. Get across to the corner. The stages look so beautiful. Each one is a yes, is a picture postcard. Um, picture postcard uh, from Milton Keynes. If you go to uh, Milton Keynes, it's a small town in England. Uh, as it goes, it looks exactly like this. More roundabouts though. All right, question in the chat: Is the score correct? Um, I think it is 2-0, Kani, right? I'm, I'm sorry, Chad. I was checking something in the back. It is. It is. It Apologies. is 2-0. It, it is advantage, Kanemani. It is advantage, Kanemani. It was one or two. What's what's one or two between friends? You know what I mean? It's it's not even week one of the actual game. Oh, just right there, calling out the staggers. You have to call out staggers. If you didn't get enough training calling out staggers in MK11, then you know you're gonna be hard done by in this game now the extended range for the the size give Molina is very useful that down one seemed to hit from range two right duck it up <laughs> what did both players do this then I'm not sure what they were trying to both neutral jump you not you don't think they're still trying to pull the up too do you <laughs> Oh, is, oh, the trip guard from Carney, and that is going to mean big damage. Marco yeah. on. Marco! Oh, he has to find a way out of that corner. There's the throw, oh. and that match is over. Carney Marney, the seven-time arena champion, showing his it, dominance. It all started with Kanemani activating Macaron's trap card when he put out the Dyson, put out Serena's, the, the Serena suck as it goes sucking away that meter like it like uh, she's getting paid for it um you saw that uh Kadamani didn't want to have anything to do with that setup when the jump straight out of there and waiting with the loving anti-air was macaron and then able to have the execution to tidy it all up what a response 2-1 a very, very insane match that was. GG's to both of them, and that means round number one officially in the books in this single elimination top eight. But we are just getting started. And looking at this bracket, you guys better put your seatbelts on. Coming up next, Rotha versus Urizen. Rain versus Melina. Both players starting this tournament with a 3 0 sweep. But do you think we're going to see another sweep now, or do you think it's getting closer? I didn't think we saw a sweep just then, and then I realized, hang on a minute, no, Kanemani was playing um, Johnny, wasn't he? It was a 3 the arena, to the action. I mean, wait! The first Sindel in the arena and here, in competitive play, I think Tiger has brought yeah. Sindel once, a character we don't see often so far. Well, yeah, but I'll tell you, from the ones I have seen in Combat League, we're going to be seeing a lot of them. Heroism with the Sindel pick, just the screaming lady as it goes. It, it makes me feel at home um, seeing Sindel. Uh, powerful woman screaming at um, me uh, as it feels goes. Feels like home, bug. Yes, yes, that's right. That's right. It <laughs> feels like home. Speaking of feeling like home, um, I, I, again, I just know exactly what the YouTube comments are going to be like. That last two minutes without bulk on the mic were the best two minutes of my life. Okay. <laughs> right, making it rain. Just this is look. This is make. This is really looks like a British summer uh, when rain's on the screen, um, because uh, it's never the weather that you want. Storm clouds, wetness everywhere. You've got soggy shoes, soggy uncomfortable shoes, wet socks. 
like one of the worst things you could ever wish on a person. Wet socks. Oh, that is literally one of the worst things that can happen to you. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 you know, a, h a harder pill to swallow than, um, um, oh, stumping the opening. Nuts, but... Rotha! Pressure time! Yeah, the full screen game <gasps> wasn't... What? Go oh, and just come here! Putting hands on, putting hands on Empress. She, she must be an Empress. I mean, she, she, she sits in the right chair, right? Right? Is she, she part of Outworld? Don't know, do we? We haven't done the story. I, I have oh, played the story here. as well, but unfortunately, I, I have so I don't have enough time lately. I'm preparing events every single day for hours. This is the, this is the thing. They give us a, they give us a game that we have to unlock, but we only get a couple of hours a night to actually play because we have lives to lead. Yeah, Come on, is... NRS. It's not 1993 anymore. The main modus of operandi is to play people online, not grind the single player content. Okay, I'm off my soapbox. Speaking of which, uh, oh, just look, you see there, we're using the Sub Zero cameo to get the projectile invincibility. Scream at the man! Scream at the man! Why have you not done the dishes? Leaving a toilet seat up and all of that, says Sindel. Right, that string, so much pressure. Okie dokie. I'm not sure about the qualities of that string, I've not been able to do anything about it. But it seems like mid, 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 into another mid. Right, dive kicking in there, screaming away, getting the combo, getting the getting the kill there is heroism. This Sindel pick Fight. looking absolutely on money. Yeah, Wouldn't you say so? Exactly knew what he was doing with that character switch for round number two versus that rain, armoring through it. Rotha dropped the combo, unfortunate. Are we saying this is a this is a day three counter pick? Have that yeah. It may be. It may be. I do like seeing a zoning exchange, an actual zoning battle, and that's one thing that you get from NRS games is the the full like the the multi range gameplay here, and the amount of variety. And the, both of these characters have got so much of that variety in spades, or or staffs, in the case of the wizard. Right, in very intelligent use of the Sub-Zero cameo. N not having to interrupt her flow, getting the projectile invincibility on is Sindel. And just out of range of the puddle. Yeah, this is literally turning into Call of Duty Warzone right now. <laughs> you say that, it's so fascinating though. Use it, look at that. Every decision could be your last. As are you gonna are you gonna absorb the projectile coming in? And exactly that happened, and we get the combo for it using the water bubble to evade to, to absorb Tyndale's hair whip and land it. She landed straight into the puddle, and that's what set up here with the here is here for the dub. Did, did, you, did you just? Are you, you okay, Rip? You, you, what you, what you, happened? You, um, Wait, how Rotha did he died. die? He, Rotha died. Why? His health bar got reduced to zero. Yeah, but but why? I oh, was at the timer. It was a timeout. Oh, it was that a timeout. I didn't that even pay attention to it. How I'm stupid. How many timeouts have you had in Combat Sindel. League so far, Rip? I've had a lot. And, and when you have timeouts in a fighting game, that, that does tell you that there's a real uh, back and forth where both where there's a, there's neutral happening and you are getting a balance in the gameplay. As much as everyone wants to say this is MK on some kind of illegal substance, it's a actually uh, that both players are able to occupy the same screen as each other and have an actual game. A bit of to and fro, if you know what I mean. And that was so fascinating that by the ending, how Rotha found that opening. Didn't even pay attention oh, to it. A, what a snipe! Playing a little bit of Call of Duty, as you say. 360 no scope there from Rain. <laughs> the good old 360 no scope in the <laughs> replay cam. And you know that was your one of your older. Uh, that, was gamers era, right? that was my error. That was my error. Yeah, Rip, Rip played CS GO, and that's what happened to his hair. It's CS went. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, the bubble just burst! No, the dot-com bubble burst for Rotha's terrain, and he got clipped with the low projectile. The extended startup on the low hair whip, managing to beat out the time of the, the active frames of the bubble. Don't you just hate it when your bubble bursts? Right, pressure. Pressure again. I really would like an answer to that string, personally. What a whiff punish! Keep your uppercuts to yourself as we get the back up and play. Continuing the combo. 30.409% into the throw reset. And we see Rotha on life support. I think this match is over, but I this don't is, see a yes. way how he's going to bring this back. It's looking longs for mans, let me tell you. Right, again, just having to pull up the bubble. Oh, the tricky low! I think that's a low, because it, it, she goes up in the sky, I instinctively stand up to block it personally, and then get killed. So I'm guessing it's a low? I haven't checked myself. Do, do you know, have you, have you uh, spent your time labbing there, young? I'm pretty sure it's a low. I think, I think it's a low. I've got my, I have my suspicions. I have my suspicions. Yeah, it is a low. It's a low, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Right, now we've had one character. No, we haven't had a character switch. We've had a character switch at the beginning. Sticking with it, not wanting the Melina. Purple Empress going up against Purple Rain. Okay, let's go. One of the, one of the best backgrounds to ever have backgrounded here. I have no idea what happened. was so nasty from Heroism to keep his turn. I tell you what, only Heroism knows what happened there because the bubble obscured all. Rotha managing to mix himself up with that bubble. Oh, we're, sh we're, we're shooting from the from the shadows. The the hidden sniper. But so far. So far, it has to be said, uh, until then, as uh, 80's hairdo provides no protection to overhead staff bonkery, it has to be said that uh, heroism really does have the measure of the of the zoning exchanges. Get out I of completely you agree with you. Him. Yes, Roth, looking a little bit clueless here in this match, I'm pretty sure he mentioned in the chat as well, I have no idea what Sindel's strings are. You don't see a lot of them, at least for now. Yeah, I think I've played two Sindels in the last three days and I got absolutely smoked. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Absolutely smoked. Because she she's absolutely worth it. We've lost Fujin, but we do have L'Oreal's representative here. Right, putting setting up shop. Oh, that over set up from Rotha. Not huge damage, but it's just chipping away at that health bar 25% at a time for Rotha. Can they make the comeback? Now is the time. Don't forget, this is a single elimination bracket. So two games down and around. It has to be now or never for Rotha. We're using the armor to get out of dodge. Right, bubble up. Again. Alright, has... this is <laughs> gonna be Rotha's round. Okay, it... there's no way, is there? There's no way. Two games and one round down. Going from uh, reverse match three point. versus Eurism, close to impossible if you ask me, but, but I have seen crazy things. Oh, we know. Yes, we have seen some crazy things. Especially you. <laughs> As it goes. Right, we're. Bl the Try, trying to clip her with the edge, but just just the low puddle from the range just doesn't have the full screen range. And clearly, heroism has scoped that out. What are oh, from Rotha? The 360, right there, trying to catch the the counter poke with the low puddle, is whoa! The, catching the forward movement. Where are you going? Uh oh. Okay, this is, this this might be bad for uh, Hero as for Rotha, as they are going to be put into the pressure blender, the pressure cooker. It's 
such an important tool for Sindel here. As you can see, she when she does that low, the low hair whip, uh, she does flip backwards, takes her off the ground. You can't. I'm sure it crushes low pokes. Probably some mids too. Oh no! Expecting the throw, getting hit is Rotha living on. Borrow time. Speaking of time, there's five oh, seconds. And that is gonna do it, Bulk. Hurizen takes it, and this is most likely gonna be a fatal. Here we go. Oh, it's gonna be maybe a friendship. Oh, no, no, that's definitely a fatal. It does look friendly. Okay, everyone, and just like that we had the first semi-finals finished and now i have a very very big surprise not only here for the twitch side but of course for the youtube community out there as well because we have a special guest on the mic for the last two remaining sets and i am so proud i am honored to have wes here on the mic next to me, Wes. It's been such a long time since we've commentated man. together the last time. I'm proud. How do you feel, brother? Are you hyped? Right. I'm excited, man. This game is amazing. I know everyone in the Rift Arena from even from the MK11 days to now has been cooking the amount of like <laughs> high level play that has developed over the years in the arena. Carrying over to MK1 is so exciting, man. Like we were talking earlier, the possibilities with this game are endless. And yes. I'm just excited to see what people in the arena at the moment are cooking because there's just so many players playing at the moment that I'm just excited, man. I just want to see what are these guys cooking. I know Heroism insanely strong right now. One mm. of the favorites in pretty much every tournament that's possible at the moment. They're just cooking everyone. Um, Javier as well, amazing player. Like, very, I'm just excited. Like, there's no other way to put it. <laughs> And I mean, Fabs, but we can be honest here. These players are just lucky that you are not allowed to compete in the arena because you're from Australia, right? <laughs> oh, man. They don't even know what's going on over down under, man. They don't even know what's cooking up here. But yes, you, you are so right. The competitive scene is stronger than it was ever before. And I cannot wait to see the future of competitive Mortal Kombat 1. Wes, let's take a look at this top 8 bracket. Because Eurism sitting there in Grand Finals, one of the favorites. We talked about that in the beginning. And now it is time for two more killers. MK Javier versus Kani Mani. Scorpion versus Johnny. Perhaps what do you, uh, Wes, what do you expect from this one? Talk about two of the most impressive plays over in MK11. Javier and Kani Mani in the arena for like years. Really starting to show in the last year especially how strong they were as players. And it's, not, it's no surprise that we see them this far in the bracket this time in MK1. I'm just... Man, I've heard a lot about Scorpion. I've heard a lot of people say Scorpion's not very good. I've heard some people say he is really good. So I don't know how he is just yet. So I, I'm actually really excited to see Javier play more than anything to see what a real, like, strong Scorpion loyalist looks like right now in MK1. Oh, yes. And you're going to find that out pretty, pretty quick because Javier, he is running that super weird plus on block Cyrex combination. That's been mm. into Cameo over and over again. And his game plan is just shipping out. <laughs> the opponent. Let's have a look what they're gonna do. We are diving into the set. Let's get it. Let's get into this. Do I look like an entertainer? So the characters we expected, Kani on Johnny, very strong in MK1 as well, in my opinion. Super, super good neutral playing character, strong buttons, big damage, and the best voice acting in the game. Yeah. Johnny Cage is, even though he did get a little bit of a nerf, I honestly think, for the most part, it actually hasn't made that much of a difference. He does get a little bit less damage, but Kani doesn't even care. Using Serena cameo as well, pretty rare. Like, I feel like most Johnny Cage plays immediately went to Kano, but Serena here is actually a really good choice as well. And Serena is always a smart choice because that cameo gives you so much damage, right? Easy hit confirm. Somewhat safe on block as well because you can only interrupt with low pokes most of the time. 100%, yeah. It's, it's like, like you said, it's a really hard punish to get a full combo consistently, but Javi, yeah, I can see what you're saying with this chip damage. He just does the death spin. If it hits, he just leaves it, and if it blocks, call the Cyrax. But here comes Kani with the Fatal Blow as well. He's got Fatal Blow and Serena. This is pretty scary. And the block pressure. Look at all those staggers. Javier, Plus. yeah, this is your new home now. Trapped in the corner, back against the wall, and Kani just pressing buttons. Oh my god. Look at the defense on Javier, though. He's not pressing anything. Good defense. Uh, that is chip out. Oh, he's going to get chipped. Wow. <laughs> Javier, he Javier. was so afraid to press a button. Fight. His defense was so good, but it actually ended up coming back to bite him. He just couldn't, he didn't, didn't get a chance to actually take a turn. There's that plus on watch Destin. Nice anti-air, wow. 
Beautiful. And guys, isn't it crazy how cameos change certain matchups? Your entire main character plays completely different depending on the cameo you choose. 100%. Like, even in that interaction right there, Serena, if you didn't have Serena, that, that sweep would have been completely safe, pretty much. So, like, just even that interaction alone is a perfect example of why cameos can change everything in every match. But Carney just dominating uh, Javier in this corner right here. Javier needs to get out of there. There we go. Spin. Plus. We're playing Kani, what are you going to nice. do? Punish nice. the reaction Kani. time. Carney Money showing it once again. Young man reactions are a thing in Mortal Kombat. I like this cameo choice for Javier. Like, I like the idea behind it, but I feel like once the spin is done from Sarax, he just goes back to neutral and doesn't really have that much of a threat. So, I don't know. Maybe there's a, a bit of a timing issue, but... Oh, I went for the punish. Break up nice break ready. Greener again. This is close. Javier can win this in one hit. One hit will kill now. You can see him fishing for it. It's like even a spear. I think a spear would kill right now. Big whiff. Can he try to whip punish with Serena, actually? Jimmy. Oh my god. Can I get a combo though? Cyrax. That one was really good. That was oh, that is good. Serena, but, dead. Mm. Yeah. It is just beautiful is what Kani is doing. And I love the patience as well. He is not over committing right now. 100%. I think Johnny is. He must be good against Scorpion. Like, he's, he's kind of naturally, like, over the years, in all the MKs, have been pretty decent against Scorpion because. Spear is pretty much irrelevant, uh, yes. even though there is cameos. With Cyrax, it really doesn't matter. But like I said, I think this is a good cameo pick. I think Cyrax is good with basically anyone, but you can see the difference, right? Like if, if Kani has Javier in the corner, he doesn't get out of the corner. He just stays there. But anytime Javier gets a turn, it's usually like spin on block, Cyrax reset neutral, where he's kind of at a disadvantage anyway. So I think it could be a bit of a tricky one. I think maybe just the timing or the decision making in terms of Cyrax is maybe needs to change. Okay, let's dive into the next round. So, Javier, no character change. I mean, that's what we expect here. True Scorpion loyalist already in MK11. Wow, straight into the Despin. Yeah, I think, like you said, the strategy is kind of just chip and then if oh. it hits you just let it rip what a punish oh that was so nasty the micro backdash from carney <laughs> the voice acting from johnny gets me every time yeah. just a wee. man carney's neutral right now like he actually hasn't really whipped any buttons it's all been really perfect nice safe on block yeah i can see what you're saying with the serena right like he does it at this weird spot where like you can't really get a full combo like there's no way you're gonna full combo punish that one yes and you know Whereas what happens if you get hit by it? Johnny can hit confirm that basically from full screen, even just with a single dash up. Look at Kani. Oh, that might have been the input error, but it's fine. Serena. Nice. Dude, what a punish from Kani. He's playing so good in the neutral right now. He really is. And he just does the shadow kick. I just say he's playing so good and he just does a random shadow kick. Kani Money, he wants to show his dominance in the early stages of MK1. One of the most dominant players we had in MK11, you know it as well, Wes. One of the best we have in Europe. He is 100%. Even though he mainly is an online player, he's contender for one of the best in the world in MK11, 100%. I completely agree with that. Opening. Oh, wow, Kani man. not able to get the hit confirm on this one. Serena just doing so much work for Kani right now. Maybe, I don't know if there's actually been any chances for a full combo for Javier, but you can just see he's kind of just sending out Serena. Here we go. Oh, no, he confirmed. Javier, you needed that one. Big whip and Kani. Oh, my God. That was whip punish. Another one. That was... No. Rude. He's dead. <laughs> no. Bro. Kani is playing amazing. Not only is he, like, moving forward and back a lot, He's reacting with Shadow Kick and so many good with punishes. Like, Arnie really showing he's not just an up close pressure character player either. Like, his neutral is actually looking amazing with the Shadow Kicks. It really amazing is. Stuff. And it is so crazy to see the level up of these players, Wes. I mean, we are talking about a few days of early access, right? And when we compare it to our day one event, and we look the way they are playing the game now, I don't even want to imagine Dude, what's going to happen in three me. months, four months, five months. Johnny it literally, like, trying Serena to even picture what Cyber is possible in a few months is, is impossible. Like, right now, just in, like you said, it's you been, what, not even a week since the game's, like, early access started. Fame and the stuff we're seeing right now is already looking like... If you just looked at it right now, you'd think the game's been out for months and these guys have been cooking for months. Like, they're so good already. Alright, that's been... 
We haven't really seen too much damage from Javier. Like, like you said, the strategy is kind of the chip. But the problem with the strategy, the only real weakness is if something is like if it's blocked, it's great. But if they get a hit, it's like 15%. It's like really nothing. So that is right. Interesting and strategy. Like right on. here. Like look at his damage. 15%. Exactly. And compare that to Johnny's B and B mid screen. It is basically twice as much. The trap good. Tiny, he, he's, it's actually working out. This is actually really. This is a good round. He's had pretty much chip damage the whole time. It's almost like you want them to block instead of getting here, which is an interesting like way to think about it. Here goes Kani though. Oh, he's oh, dead. Ooh, he mashed out. Rips, he could lose this. He does have Fatal Blow. This is not over West. Breaker, okay. One opening. One opening. One shimmy. Now it's really scary. Arena cameo on deck as well. How do you avoid this? Grab again. Kani. Don't do this. Kani, the patient! He's dead. And that is literally the perfect display. What we just talked about, Kani Mani, world-class player, played this perfectly. What a comeback. I cannot believe he didn't get chipped out there. I cannot believe it. That was insane. What a comeback from Kani right there. Oh, gets off the breaker too. This is such a bad situation for Javier right now. Even though they're similar in life, that meter gain is such a big difference. Oh my, Kani. The bait right now. 35%. <laughs> The Wii, <laughs> it is, it is so good. Then, yeah, this Serena coming in that situation. Is, oh Excuse my god! Excuse me, what was that enter? I'm sorry. Down four shadow kick. I've never seen someone do that before. One here from Kanye will take this. Hit. Look at the movement. He's just dancing in my. front of him. Now Javier answering back, and he needs it. Reversal 3-0 needed versus one of the best players we have in Europe. So now what are you doing, Nutri? Got Serena to worry about. Can't do spear. She mean. Nice jump kick spear. Fatal. He does that breaker though. Okay. Take the fatal. This is actually really good. Oh, up block. He's dead. Wait. Breaker. Up breaker. Breaker was ready. Yep. Hold on. This is so close. Have you guys still with that fatal boy? And Cyrax. We're going to see some chip damage. Yep. Cyrax. Come in. Back to neutral. Under the Serena. <gasps> wow. He just... Oh, what a shimmy. What a shimmy from Javier. That was so smart, the delayed mid. That was really smart. But Wes, I gotta tell you, this is the first time I see Javier actually struggling with his scorpion death spin combination because not a lot of players were able to play around it. And Kani Mani is just playing the spacing game. He's just out neutraling him, so to say. Yeah, I think, like, when you think about scorpion in this game, his, his main thing is really that standing 2 one string, which goes really far, but... A lot of characters actually can't deal with it. But Johnny is one of those characters that can, fortunately for Johnny, with punish it. And he has a good low poke to contest it as well. So I think Johnny, like I said, great matchup against Scorpion right now. At least on the day three opinion. But Kani, look at this. Serena. Yeah, this is looking rough. One touch is going to do it. can you do it? One touch for Javier might almost kill as well. This is actually like a lot of damage on the table. <laughs> there it is. Oh, Serena he's dead. Yeah. opening. Brutality, maybe? A, A, nice. 35%. Kani with the 3 0. Javier did actually play quite good, but Kani's offense, his movement, like, if you think about the boxes that tick in a fighting game player, Kani just ticked all of them in that one set. Great. Like, he just did everything really good. That was absolutely amazing in my opinion i one of the best neutral sets i've played uh, i've seen in a long time wes mind-blowing performance from both of them i mean mk javier made it to the semi-finals in this tournament which is an achievement already but now 100%. it is time for real business wes and with real business i mean we're gonna see two of the most dominant players in europe currently face each other. Yeah. Heurism versus Kani Mani. Wes, give me your thoughts on this upcoming match, please. I, the way I feel about Heurism right now is he feels like unbeatable. I have not seen the guy lose a set once since the game's come out. I mean, maybe I've missed a couple around the, like around the tournaments, but this Molina or Sindel even potentially is looking seriously unstoppable right now. The neutral has been amazing. Um, obviously, a Molina player from MK11, I think a lot of that carried over into this game as well. So, like, the neutral's been really good. The offense, mm. Melina's actually quite offensive in this game, too. Like, yeah, he was a, similar to Kani, just ticking all the boxes right now. This one, if anyone can do it, though, I think it's Kani. Like, Kani's right now, especially with this Johnny, playing really strong. 
I guess maybe it just comes down to the matchup experience with Molina. I think Molina is a super tricky character right now to fight against. In mm -hmm. other games, she's been a little bit easier, but you know, there's a lot of knowledge checks with Molina this time around. There's a lot of weird strings, um, and her combos do like 45% every time. It is so, insane. Um, it yeah. is insane, yes. And Urizum is so happy. You said it. MK11 Melina main. Melina back then in MK11 considered low tier Ooh. character, right? Definitely Ooh. not a high tier Trash. character. And Urizum is just so happy. And it is well yeah. deserved. First spot in grand finals facing Kani Mani. And I cannot wait to see the next match. Okay. So let's send these invites out and give them a proper welcome. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. A big thank you, of course, to Wes as well, who decides to join me on the Got mic you. today. Got you. It is going to be a good one, and the players, no they are delivering, baby. Doing it. And just like that, everyone, the final match is starting of this incredible top eight. We are down to the last two players, Kanimani versus Urizim. Wes, I'm excited, brother. Empress. Bro, look at it. It's not the Molina, it's the Sindel. He's actually going for the Sindel peak in this matchup. Round that one. is a super Fight. big surprise. I think everyone was expecting that Molina. Let's see if Furism can defeat Kanimani in this one. And immediately, the first thing I noticed, Kanimani going for the Sub-Zero cameo this time. So, not using that Serena. Obviously, Sub-Zero is one of the best cameos right now, especially against a character like Sindel. But I'm excited to see the Sindel right now. I haven't actually seen too much Sindel in this game. And I haven't seen a lot of Sindel as well in competitive play, even though the character is very strong in my opinion. Good buttons, good specials, very unique move loadout as well with those super, super weird special moves she has. 100%. I think Sindel is another character like similar to Melina. That's a really good matchup knowledge check as well. But look at Kani with these uplocks. Every yeah. jumping I've seen against Kani has been pretty much an uplock almost every time. Kani's pressure is relentless right now. But Urizen believes in this round, Wes. Look at the very late break. Close to uh, death, we are... Sub-Zero cameo too. Oh, Kani is so disres disrespectful with those kicks in neutral. Rip. He can do it. Wait. Go fatal blow. One hit. Wait. Oh. <laughs> He's dead. Fatal. No, wait. Break up. Break up. Break up. Oh, yep. Break up. Sub-Zero cameo. <laughs> oh my god. You're <laughs> no, that was... That was different. These players are built different. That was only the first round of the set. Well, this is going to be a good one. Wow, what was that poke? I've never even seen that one. One thing I noticed immediately as well, here is a dab pressure with Sindel. Probably the really interesting approach here. No, By the way, that, that helmet is flawless blockable. I think on flawless block, you can make it minus 19 with a little bit of pushback. So Johnny can definitely punish it if you are able to hit it. Wow, that's actually interesting. Yeah, like there's going to be so much only in a few days that people are going to get away with a lot right now. So imagine how these matches are going to play out in a week, two weeks or yes. even more. But I think but that's the Kani. beauty, right? Of these early day one tournaments, 100%. so to say. Wow, Tani. Making so many good choices on the base. This is looking really good for him right now. And just backs off. I love that. I love this choice. Doesn't need to go in, but he still decides to anyway. One little kill. Here is a... Can you do this? Blast frames. Breaker. This is looking rough. This is looking really rough. Eyes are more active as well, so very hard to zone. Look at Tani just abusing that. He doesn't even try to block. <laughs> Yeah, Sub-Zero Cameo is something else. And again, that same thing happened in the last round. Sub-Zero Cameo doing so much work against Heroism right now. What I think is very, very amazing to see is just the situational awareness of Kanimani, right? In neutral, he is lightning quick with those reaction times. So many good whiffs punished. Insane. The shadow kicks, the, all the shadow kicks were perfect. He didn't, he never like did anything that was like a... Like a wrong reaction. Like he did it when it was like he knows it's gonna punish, he'll do it. And especially with the sub zero cameo, like maybe it's a Sinel specific Melina, thing, but General looks like he's Shao. going to Melina now. Why is he picking Shao Kahn? What is going on? Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, I, I was happy so, for a little bit as a Shao fan, Melina, of course. But yes, Kahn, he's yeah, not he, allowed he to switch. He wanted to wake you up, he wanted to hype you up. So here we go. 
Melina okay. against the sub zero cameo, I think Bell Melina is a much better choice because Finnell's normals are like so decent, but a lot of her game is the projectiles, and sub zero cameo, cameo just nullifies a lot of that. But Kani is looking really good in this set right now. You know what else is looking really good, Wes? I mean, besides you, of course, look at this stage in the background. I think every stage in the game pretty much looks yes, amazing. Yes, I agree this with one that. Is, this one especially, like, they just went over the, over the top in like a really good way with all these stages. Oh, Serena. There's the dark, yes. Low Down profile. Four. Good spacing yeah, like from here. Like you were saying, it's, it's the beauty of these 20s is like, we see things like where they are right now, but we know they're going to develop a lot, but it's still really interesting to watch. Even just from like a tournament now compared to the first one you did, you can see the level up just in those few days. Nice interrupt. Beautiful awareness from Urizim. Kani had the break already. Full string. Up lock. Kani up again lock. so consistent with that. Even though it is a risk, Kani has done it almost every time and has yet to be baited. I guess the risk reward is probably worth it actually. Here we go. Here's Kani with the classic pressure. Oh, that's gonna kill. Yep. Double two on two. No, something else. Wow, optimal. That was sick. The execution is on point. I gotta say, Kani Mani, he is really delivering tonight. So, <gasps> give me some context on the arena. Has has Heroism lost a Tony in the arena yet? I think there's no. been two tournaments, right? It is actually the first time that Heroism is competing in the arena. Oh, wow. After MK11. Oh, wow. Oh, let's go. This is actually high. And you know what it was? We have a 5,000 euro tourney coming up. And I think Heroism is just oh, trying to man. get ready for it. Of course. Yeah, both of these guys, they've both been grinding this game since release. And they were grinding crazy in MK11 as well. So... These guys will be look these guys will be looking out to oh, win that yeah. tournament as well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this Kani. The... Yeah, we are seeing neutral right now, and I think Wes, you agree with me when I say high level MK is not only the most is not always the most fun to watch, right? When these players are looking for openings, a little bit of zoning here, a little bit of zoning there. Yeah, definitely. And but look at it in this game, I feel like in this game it's especially if it's playing like a sub hero cameo, you're forced to actually play like a more you have to go in. You can't just zone. Like, mm -hmm. zoning, zoning in this game, Loki is not very good right now because of this cameo. And you can see all these matches we've seen today are so fast paced, man. Like, it's just constant action. Yeah, and another thing is I'm very curious about is we have so many options with each character depending on the cameo. I'm curious about the first tier list, Wes. I don't even know if a real tier list is possible in MK1. <laughs> It's definitely not going to be anywhere near accurate for months, 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 months. Like, there's so many things we don't know that even exist right now that could potentially break a character just from a one, one block stream with a cameo, or one mix-up with a cameo can make or break a character right now. Good low poke from Heroism tries to grab Kani. Daco oh has under it. Full combo punish for that. Big damage. This is really good for Kani. And he's got his tactic one on pressure going. This is... Oh, it's Swift. Hold on, here's him, you can do this. Melina, one of the highest damaging characters in the game. Sends the fatal. I like this choice, actually. It's gonna do a lot of damage. Probably 40 fatal scale, a little bit in this game, but it's just pretty early in the combat, so probably low 40. Yeah, 42%. Kani, I know he's looking for a shadow kick. <laughs> I was about I'm to say the he's same thing. Shadow kick. Shadow kick, <laughs> yep. <No West. laughs> The Kani special. Oh man. Could it have gone any other way? Sub Zero cameo into the Shadow Kick. Kani's choice with this cameo has been amazing. Like, let's look at the Shadow Kick right here. It is the first time that I see that tech with that Sub Zero armor, right? So that Johnny is able to punish that Serena assist every single time. And Kani is able to pull it off very, very insane performance from him today i mean top eight this is grand finals don't forget about it and connie money just he's looking dominant dude he hasn't lost a match since i come in here like he's just been cooking i haven't seen him lose yet so honey right now looking to take this tournament what's called a potentially reality now okay one match we away from winning the tournament and here's him goes back to the sindel believing in it so can he use and win three matches in a row against connie with the sindel let's see Round one. We need a reversal 3 0 versus Kanimani. This sounds like a rough mission to me. Yeah, me too. With the Sub Zero cameo, like, that's really the main thing I would be worried about if I was Heroism. 
I feel like Sub Zero Cameo, if your character's primarily based around projectiles, you kind of are in a very rough position. But Heroes and Beliefs, Heroes and Beliefs. Good punish. Show me the bombo. What the, what the hell is Yurizm doing? Wait a minute. Yurizm is okay. recording a YouTube combo tutorial right now for <laughs> Sindel. I love the levitate stuff with Sindel. I don't know how good it is on block, but I love seeing it in combos. Here we go, Carney though. Great choice on the buttons, man. Like, he makes Johnny look so safe, like in every situation, even on whiff. Like, he never whiffs. Oh, again, the shadow kick. This is big damage. Yep. 30%. Now we get that 1 1 pressure started. Flawless. Up block again. I was about to say flawless block, but yeah, that up block punish is so good. And Kani right now really the only player in our tournaments who is abusing that mechanic. Wow, good punish here. Yeah, Kani really showed me the light with up block stuff. Really strong. Double Serena. Gonna see a fully 40% combo here. Yeah. Wow. Whoa, nice combo. But here's Sub Zero Cameo. There we go. Back to the rush down. Grab. Nice pressure from Huser right now. That cameo, man, just completely making it hard. Look, look, you can't even do your projectiles. It's such a good cameo. Okay. What is going on? We're playing anime games now. Punish. Huser with the perfect Great spacing. Tiny might die here. Yeah, 100%. If he doesn't drop this. Wow, nice. Thirty one percent, not bad. That was meatless as well. Meatless damage in this game is actually extremely high. Wow, he didn't block overhead. MK11 says hello. That whip and flip from Sindel back then was so <laughs> disgusting. Yes, and it's back to as an armored as an armored move. So still really good in this game too. Here we go, Carney though. Forward one, plus on block. Oh my god, look at the pressure right now. Both of these guys playing so good. Eurism really is making this work. The Shadow Kick, the Carney special. Oh, the slight delay on Carney's end. Eurism not able to block this. 35% to the Kisser. Oh, good hit confirmed. Double Serena here. Okay, does, doesn't want to do double. I respect that. I like that choice. Save one more for the next hit. What a conversion. Eurism Great. Serena again. To air trade. Break up. Grab your cameo though. Nice levitate. Here is it. What are you doing? <gasps> He's dead. Yep. Serena. Dead. Double Serena if you want. Nice. What a round from Heroism. Super clean. Really good with punishes too. With like some interesting normal high damage. Very nice stuff. Wes, well, so I think we have to boot up the replay here and take a look at this combo one more time. That start, whiff that punish. whiff punish, the neutral, the spacing, everything on point. And the Serena Corp mm, takes the round. Wow, here's him. I'm not going to lie. When I saw the Sindel in the final match, I thought, all right, this is the GG's of 3 0. But here's him proving me wrong right here. I'm, I'm impressed. Like, like I said, I haven't seen that much Sindel right now. So. Seeing this right here is kind of right showing now. me the way a woman's job how Sindel can done. work a high level like this, especially against Carney. Like, a lot of people watching right now don't understand how good Carney is just from watching this set. It's extremely hard to beat a play like this with any character in the game. Wow, the last hit. And I really have to try that Sub Zero cameo as well in the future. Carney makes it look so good. Yes, I think it's the best, like, top three cameo in the game, in my opinion, right now. Like, based on my day zero tier list, um, because it's an ambush. It's no risk to get that projectile uh, shield on you. There's zero risk. So, it's so good against a lot of characters. Spacing. Nice. Rip guard from Kami. 34%. Into the pressure. Here is him now. Had to break. Oh, could have we punished that? Wow. No sub zero cameo, so he actually has to hold projectiles for once. What is going on, Rich? I have wow. absolutely no idea. This is so fast paced. Big whiff. Oh, I know that Kani was looking for another kick in neutral. Yeah, I think Sindel's normal is like her hair is a little like because it goes so far, it's a little hard to be punish sometimes. Look at that down three. Yuri's was like, yeah, move forward, I dare you. Run into this. Serena. 
Oh my god. They're, they're both playing so respectful right now. Love this levitate stuff too. Oh no, he confirmed. Flawless block there it what, was what? for the first <gasps> time in this set. And it was Oh my the timer. Wes, I didn't even pay attention. <laughs> no, I didn't either. I did not either. In this game right now, there's no like down for the timer, so I think that's why we probably forgot about it, but here is him. Plays the clock. We're trying to tie this up to get it, take it to the last match. He's looking really good right now. One, one, two. Oh, let's go. Tiny gets the grab. He's about to get Sub Zero coming in back. Is he going to shield up? He should. Yep, there it is. Whiff punish. But he whiffed on opening. kid. 35. One, one. And Give me another one. He wasn't trying to guess the staggers. Oh my god, he's dead. No, oh, can oh. he drop it? That oh, it's just an uh, emergency <laughs> down two. The oh, MK11 no comes out Fuck. once again in a new game. Down two <laughs> mass, let's go. Okay, let me see here. Up block, oh my god. Honey is way too good at that. He makes up block look so strong. And the shadow kick, speaking of what he's good at. Have zero cameo, what are you gonna do? Wow, nice grab. Yeah, Johnny's plus frames are so scary. Oh, I, I love Hewson this levitate stuff. Yeah, I think he was in try to bait an upload there. Oh, that actually is a pretty smart choice. That actually makes sense. I didn't think about that. That's cool. Oh, wait. oh my. Wes, this might be it. We might have a champion tonight. Kani Mani, is he dropping this? Very late break, break available. Up. No way. There's no way. This is over. GG's. <laughs> yeah, GG. Kani Mani. So strong with the Johnny Cage. And the combo keeps going too. And Wes, he is still going. No, that is one of the best fatals in the entire game. Probably my favorite right now. Wait for it. Ah, oh, <laughs> let's go. Wow, Kani Mani, your champion for the event in the arena. No surprise, someone like someone like Kani takes the event. So strong. Always been a really strong player. Super convincing yes. performance. What but heroism, like this, this, this Indel, I liked it. I really liked it. It was a, was a beautiful display of high-level MK1, in my opinion. And here in the big, in the end of the stream, of course, a big, big thank you to all players who decided to compete here. Congratulations, Kanimani, for taking it this time. I cannot wait to see how our league series with the 5,000 euro prize pool is gonna... Who is gonna win it in the end? I have no idea, but Wes, I am so grateful that you decided to join me here on the mic tonight for this tournament. I appreciate that so much. I got you, man. Hey, everyone watching right now, please show love to the Rips Arena. There's some of the highest level MK out there. I appreciate what you guys do. I just love being a part of it. I love watching it. So I'm grateful to be here, man. I had a good time. I really love it here. Wes, that means the world to me. Yes, guys, thank you so much for watching. I don't think I have to tell you to subscribe to Wes's channel because most likely 99% of the MK community is already subscribed. But if you're not, make sure to support the boy. Thank this you. Is, Come this... check me out for some crazy combos, boys. I'll show you guys the craziest combos in the game. <laughs> that is right. So just like that, everyone have a wonderful evening. Wes and me, we are out. Take care.